Thanks to everyone who has subscribed. If you have not, please do. And thanks for coming out here. I really appreciate you. Edo 2020, Oshomole must have given INEC fake voters registration register. Deputy Governor, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time we're reaching you today. Uh, we want to say a big thank you for your huge, massive and continuous support. God bless you. Thank you so much. Today's zone is about a dose state. We're talking about the deputy governor, the person of Philip Shaibu. Shaibu is speaking and saying, you know, um, INEC requested for the register of every um, Edo State uh, member of APC. INEC requested it. And they were, you know, we reported then that um, APC was worried. APC Edo State saying that that register has not been updated for like since 19, uh, 2016 or 2017. Uh, member, uh, you know, uh, the, reg data has not the register has not been, uh, you know, updated. What, what makes you a registered and a bona fide member of APC is that you are a financially committed member and you participate, uh, you know, and, and a host of other things. But one of the main reasons is that you are finite you are a financially committed member and um, from a do state chapter people were saying that well the register has not been updated for a while now anyway somehow somehow uh the uh, apc national chairman has given uh, as requested has given the registration the register of a do state to INEC officials philip shaibu is standing to say that oshomole must have given INEC, a fake voters register. So let's get into the news and get why Philip Shaibu is saying what he's saying. Philip Shaibu, the deputy governor of Edo State, has accused Adam Sushumole, national chairman of the All Progressive Congress APC, of handling over a fake votes reg voters register list to the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC ahead of the Edo State September governorship election. Shaibu made the allegation in a statement issued by Ben Atta, his special assistant on media, in reaction to INEC announcement of a direct primary mood for the Edo State APC ahead of his ruling party governorship primaries on 22nd of June. The, tep the deputy governor claimed that the electoral body is making a mistake by listening to Oshomole and accepting the direct primaries as the mood for the Edo State APC governor governorship primaries. According to him, the APC national chairman decided to adopt the direct primary mood without consulting the state APC chapter, which is the order and order normal protocol. He insisted that the entire primary process lacked integrity as Oshomole, who is Shaibu's, whom Shaibu described as interested party, is an unjust party and his activities are fraudulent. The statement reads, the APC national chairman is now acting like a judge presiding over his own case. Oshomole can't be fair because he's an interested party in a dual state governorship election. INEC is making a mistake by allowing the national chairman to decide without consulting the state chapter. Oshomole cannot be taking or talking about a direct primary when he doesn't have the diary of a registered party members. Oshomole must have given fake voter register to INEC because those who have the authority and authorized party registration diary at the state level we are not consulted only a few members of the national working committee are loyal to shomole we are present when the decision on how a do state governorship election was taken Oshomole has turned the table around where he alone now serves as both the state and national chairman he speaks for himself and also speaks for the state. The APC national chairman and Shaibu principal, Governor Godwin Obaseki, have been locked in a political battle over the control of the ruling party in the state. 
Well, guys, you've heard uh, Philip Shaibo. He said Oshomole is the judge deciding and presiding over his own very case, which is never, has never been only in society where there is, where there is lawlessness, where there is, uh, where there is, uh, where there is bribery, where things are not done decently and in order. Well, he said Adam Oshomole has not done well. Adam Soshomole has become both the national and state chairman of the party. He has given APC uh, a bad look and a bad name in, you know, in the country. You can see the face of uh, Philip Shaibu saying that um, Oshomole must have given INEC a fake register uh, for a, a APC. Why? When INEC uh, as, as asked for the uh, register of APC, the registered members, he said Oshomole did not consult the state chairman who should have the register. Oshomole is not just the chairman for a do state. He is the national chairman. So the 36 states of the federation, whichever state APC is in charge, Oshomole is their chairman. So they, every state should have their due process in place such that if such matters regarding the, uh, the such matters regarding the the state register should have come from the chairman of the state not from adam soshomole like you know uh, uh, philip allegedly said he said the register he did not ask for the register from the national from the chairman of Edo State. Of course, the chairman of Edo State is uh is, is the faction of Godwin Obaseki, and as such, Oshomole will not contact him. Yes, because of the whole issues that are going on, the whole supreme supremacy battle that is going on between the duel. Well, uh, he's saying so, therefore, Oshomole must have given INEC a fake register, uh, which is not supposed to be so, uh, because INEC have said that they have received the register of APC in a do state. Again, he said, um, though, when I, uh, Oshomole was uh, deciding what mode of primary to use in a do state, nobody, nobody particularly, you know, those that could, you know, uh, look into the constitution of APC were there to listen and to be able to pick together and say, let us do this or that. He said Oshomole should not be listened to. Why? He's interested in a do state election. Yes, the, first of all, I, I, this is my opinion. I might be wrong. For the fact, yes, Oshomole is the national chairman. And because of conflict of interest, yes, he should have not been, you know, probably they should have said the deputy uh, chairman of this area should have presided over a do state one, being that Oshomole and Obaseki are having issues. Yes. Two, being that Oshomole and Obaseki are from the same state. This is a state. If we want to be just, if we want to be fair, if we want to be sincere, we must give the opportunity for the right thing to be done you know uh, i might be wrong but that's the way i i see it you cannot be the judge in your own case it's not done in any state city nation or country you know so uh fili shaibu is on, is on the opinion is his position is that oshomole uh apc INEC have not taken the right decision with the things that they've been doing they, she said they shouldn't have listened to Shomole. They should have done things decently and in order. They should have, you know, spoken uh, to the, the... But it's not in the place of uh, INEC to speak to the state chairman, you know. Uh, so the order is that INEC will speak to the uh, national chairman with regards to that state. Well, the national chairman should be in consult... In, should be consulting with the state chairman so that they can have accurate reports and figures every time so these are some of the issues and matters that uh, philip shaibu is accusing adams of shomole of and um, edo state is quite a peculiar one uh, with all the issues going on philip shaibu was accused as well of um, uh, saying that there was a riot in abuja when there was no riot you know uh, so there are a lot of issues going on you don't even know who to believe anymore but again my people this is all politics and in politics you don't take sides your own is to vote for who you think is the right person
your own position should be, take should be to vote for who should be who you think will give the will give the best you know guidance and uh, you know direction for the people for the state in the next four years anyway my people what do you think don't forget to like us share subscribe click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news i want to say a big thank you god bless you and bye for now